The Word became flesh and dwelled among us, and we have seen his glory, full of grace and truth. We read these words from John's Gospel on Christmas Day as we look in wonder at this little child who is also God. And when we try to begin even to imagine what God could be like, it goes far beyond our human capability. God is infinite and eternal and more immense than the entire universe. And each day we discover just how great that universe is. More and more things are discovered. We realize the great expansiveness and all the wonders that have been created. And yet, compared to God, as scripture says, all this is but a handful of sand. God is more immense than all of that. And besides, God is pure love and pure goodness. And that is the God who became a little child, very small, in our flesh, Jesus Christ. The immensity of God's love could not long be contained in a human heart. And we know from the stories of the gospel that that heart of Jesus continued to extend God's love and God's mercy and God's compassion to the people among whom he lived and walked until the point where that immense love burst that heart in the mystery that we call the crucifixion and in the resurrection. For death could not even contain this love. As we read in the Acts of the Apostles today, the risen Jesus, still filled with grace and truth as Son of God, made himself visible for just a little while longer, some 40 days, but then was seen no more. In his sermon for this feast day, St. Leo, Leo the Great teaches, the visible presence of Christ has passed into the sacraments. That is to say that the Son of God, who humbled himself in becoming a man like us, now makes himself even smaller, even more humble, so that all of this divine fullness can be shared with each and every one of us. In the form of a fragile wafer of bread is the fullness of him who fills all in all, and it is given to us. Jesus, the Word made flesh, full of grace and truth, comes to us in the Eucharist to fill us with that same grace and truth and forms us into his body, the Church. Through the sacraments, we become, in a human visible way, the body of Christ in this world at this time. The Apostle Paul, who opens up for us this image of the body of Christ, teaches us also that we receive from the Holy Spirit different gifts, different abilities, different charisms. And using that image of the body with, with its many parts and organs work together in a harmonious unity, he says, so it is with Christ. Christ being our head, we being the members. All because he has shared himself with us and besides that has given us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Today we have the joy of celebrating here in our church the sacraments of baptism and of confirmation as well as of the Eucharist so that Jesus Christ who once brought the mercy and healing of God to those who received his words and his touch now does the same for those of us who receive these sacraments. Through them we receive the Holy Spirit that we too might go forth in his name to be his body and to proclaim his good news.